G'day guys, Scotty here from The Hook and The Cork and welcome back to our channel. Today guys, I'm going to teach you how to do a platted double for your game fishing as the marlin season's only around the corner. Now guys, if you haven't tuned into The Hook and The Cook before, please hit the link below to subscribe and join in the fun weekly as we load new clips every Friday. Now let me show you that double. Well as we slide towards the summer months, um, we're getting close to our marlin season again here in Sydney. Now the marlin come down along the coast, uh, normally December, January, February, March are probably the best months of the year and um, the guys get out there and chase them. Now they come in fairly close into about the 50 fathom mark and sometimes closer if the water conditions suit. Um, last year I headed out as I've done for quite a few years uh, trying to get my first marlin and finally got one last February. And this is a little outfit that I got it on. It's a TLD 25. Uh, it's probably Shimano's Baby of the Fleet in their game reel series. I've got it spooled up with Snyder 35 or 15 kilo. And I've got the reel matched to a, a um, Backbone Elite from Shimano. It comes with beautiful little roller guides. And it's rated to 15 kilo. So it's an all round good little outfit to get yourself started to chase your uh, game fish off Sydney. What I want to show you today is some of the lures that we're using. These are the small skirted lures that I've had pre-rigged at my local tackle shop, Fergo's Tackle World down at Tarrant Point. The guys rigged them up for me, a couple of different colours to give me a different uh, spread out behind the boat. And that's the little uh, lure that did the damage last year, the uh, little sniper. And also too, what you'll need is a snap swivel, a decent snap swivel. What I want to show you today is how to tie a plaited double. Okay, I'm ready to start my plait. Now I've swapped over for you guys so you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, the, uh, the fishing line is a bit hard to, uh, to pick up exactly how to start your plait. So I thought I'd go to a heavier material. This is just a, a red cord. And uh, this way you guys will be able to see out there exactly how to start the plait because it's a little bit tricky to start with. So this is our main line running back to the, uh, the reel. Okay. And now I've pulled off enough cord to give me a uh, two to three meter trace. So here's our tag end. What we're gonna do first is come underneath. Now by coming underneath now that gives me, as you can see, I've got three strands to work with. Now to do a plait you need three strands. So it <clears throat> comes underneath first and then I bring this one back to the middle. By bringing it back to the middle, the one on this outside here, I come back across and pull down and you can see now I'm starting to tighten down. So this is the only one that I haven't brought back to the middle. I'll bring this one across to the middle now and continue on. Back to the middle, outside one, back to the middle, back to the middle. And you can see the plait now starting to form. There's my tag end, I'll bring that back into the centre again. Outside edge, back into the centre. And continue on. Till you get the desired length. Now most plaits for game fishing around 100 millimetres in length is probably about right four inches and just work your way down till you get to that length. As you can see now the plat's forming nicely. And just slowly work down. Now once you get to the desired length this tag end is very important. What we do is we bring it back on itself and double the line. Like that. And then continue on plaiting. So back to the middle. And then continue on. Now what I'm doing is I'm plaiting in this double. It's been doubled up. And I've got the tag end hanging out here as you can see. And continue on like so. Now this is how we finish off the plait. All right, and once you've come down an inch or 25 millimeters is probably enough. I've got the the double wound in. What we do then is we pick up the outside edge 
of our double and we run it through the loop like so and then just pull it all the way through. So you keep pressure on this area here now once you've pulled this wire through and then just draw on your tag end and you should be able to pull this loop tight as you can see it's starting to close in. A little harder with this thicker cord than fishing line and we pull that down and snug it up and that's, that's exactly how we finish the plait. And then what you can do is you can just trim off the tag, not too short, leave a little bit and there you have your nice plaited double. And as you can see, if you pull on that, there's actually some spring there. You can see it's springing. It just gives you that little bit extra shock absorption. Works quite nicely. So there you have a simple plaited double. Okay, so we've got, there's our main line. Now what we do then is just run down to the end, keeping the tension on there all the way through. And then we'll add to that our snap swivel. Okay, so all I'm going to do there is go through the, uh, the eye of the swivel and using a, a uni knot. Okay, pretty simple. Just tie that on like so. Bit of moisture. Slide him down to the top of the swivel. Cut the tag end off. And then that way, you're all set to go. You've got your snap, you've got your beautiful double plaited. And then you've got your lures that you're gonna use. And like I said, they come set up with a, a trace line and that trace is about 150 pound. And we're simply just gonna drop him on there once we're out in the water. And now we're all set up, ready to go trolling. Well, there you have it, guys. The double plat. Pretty simple, bit of practice and you'll get it right. Now, guys, tune in next week for another fantastic clip on the hook and the cook. Please subscribe to our channel. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And we'll see you on the water next week somewhere. Cheers.